Okay, Matthew Galloway, play the lovely gay music and let's get on with today's episode, only on CBC Listen. And she's here. Congratulations, Matt! Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, 18-year-old son, where did the hot sexy nurse allegedly touch you? There? There? And... <laughs> Excuse me, son, but uh, is there any way you can fix me up for an appointment? <sighs> I'm coming for you, Canada, and I'm gonna come hard. Hard like the Thor of Thunder and the Steel of... Patrick Swayze? Steel Dawn? That might be a good reference at this point in time. I made a video yesterday about melanin gamers because they're the new POC kids on the block. And by the way, I've actually got a theory about that particular group of people. But before I do, and before you do, stick around for these awesome opening titles. Yes. I am so modest about what I do because I'm like Leo Sayer. I'm a one-man band. I do everything, even sourcing out sexy free women who are, uh, yeah, who say, Jason, can we be part of your thumbnails? And I say, well, of course you do, lady with the big 38 double Ds. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're beautiful. And supplemented some white woman DNA into this girl to make her a little more white. Because that is not what I just saw. Hey, are you coming? I'm coming for you, boy. I'm coming hard. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. Duke Nukem likes this guy. So today we have another hit piece from Canada because let's face it, that country's so irrelevant right now. And yes, I do know people who live up there, but even they are probably embarrassed by the whole political stance that Canada takes when it comes to everything has to be woke and you have to comply. I don't comply because like Dana White, I'm an absolute savage. And now you, a lot of people that were afraid of you now hate you. But the minute you start acting like a terrorist, now you piss people off. Except I won't rip this t-shirt because I'm actually quite partial to this and the boobies underneath. But this is Jonathan Orr, which if you put WH at the beginning would actually spell out a different surname altogether, which I find rather amusing. Why a Montreal video game consulting studio is at the center of an online anti-diversity storm. <laughs> says Jonathan Orr, who himself is, well, of a diversity. Now, what I find very bizarre about this is that when I started listening to this excerpt of the podcast, I was getting deja vu vibes and I couldn't figure out why at first, but like Detective Columbo, you just take a step back and you kind of go back a couple of weeks, look at your videos and just remembered what you actually covered before. So, Sweet Baby Inc., who else is going to be? And at the moment on the Steam Curator page from Cabrutus Rambo, it currently stands at the time of recording this video, which is 9.23 a.m., because I've got to do a lot of saucy stuff for my videos afterwards, which, which, which is why they come out a bit later than they usually should. Um, 360,000... 203 followers so i reckon by next wednesday we'll probably be at 400,000 followers which would be absolutely awesome um look at this the crew motor fest 
is Sweet Baby Stink Tainted. So whatever you do, don't go near that game. I think from what I recall hearing is that uh, the drivers have to be more diverse or the cars have to be diverse. So you know when Christian Bell says to Morgan Freeman in Batman Begins, does it come in black? Well, interpret that sense of humor like I would with my Ronda Rowdy sense of humor. Yes, that's going to have a whole level of ridiculousness now to it because, yeah, cars have to be diverse. I think the drivers have to be, which is ridiculous because in the Forza Horizon series, you can diversify your drivers anyway. But of course now, yeah we get to this monstrosity right here. So I'm gonna play this and then you'll see what happens. There is a new conspiracy theory gaining ground in the gaming world. It's centered around a Montreal-based video game company called Sweet Baby Inc. And according to believers, including Elon Musk, this small 16-person Canadian company is trying to radically change the video game industry. Here is one of the many men on YouTube speaking out against Sweet Baby, specifically about the new black Spider-Man character. The controversy started when Sweet Baby Inc. employees, a woke game consulting company whose sole mission is to push the agenda in any games they get their hands on. They're all about diversity and equity and inclusion. They lay that out. They said they want to take over the games industry. They hate white, straight male gamers. Of course, if you don't recognize the voice, it's Ryan Kinnell, the poster child for everything that is wrong with white men. As Gundam said, and I do agree with this, Ryan Kinnell's a very funny guy, very quick humored, but he is a man child in the best possible way, Ryan. You know that. I think Ryan watches some of my videos on occasion, so, and, and I'm sure he gets that a lot. I mean, he's this child with a beard, but he's a very funny guy. And, uh, it's interesting that they've picked on him because remember a couple of weeks ago, I also covered this gentleman called uh, Matt Galloway, also of diverse nature. And listen to the beginning of his podcast. Why it's not too late to turn that around. We begin <clears throat> with a Canadian video game company and the crosshairs of anti-diversity activists. No. Good morning, I'm Matt Galloway. No. And this is The Current. Okay, Matthew Galloway. Play the lovely gay music and let's get on with today's episode only on CBC Listen. There is a new conspiracy theory gaining ground in the gaming world. It's centered around a Montreal-based video game company called Sweet Baby Inc. And according to believers, including Elon Musk, this small 16-person Canadian company is trying to radically change the video game industry. Here is one of the many men on YouTube speaking out against Sweet Baby, specifically about the new Black Spider-Man character. The controversy started when Sweet Baby Inc. employees, a woke game consulting company whose sole mission is to push the agenda in any games they get their hands on. They're all about... Do you see what I mean? It's deja vu all over again. Officer Deja, Agent Vu, haven't we met somewhere before? That this podcast is one hour and 14 minutes and 30 seconds. The one here, okay, so this is an abridged version. Whether it's actually the same interview that Kim Belair is given here, let's have a quick listen. This is hilarious. Diversity and equity and inclusion. Oh. Uh, the Discord, which is a the sort Discord. of leverage against oh, all Oh, this is uh, Melissa Mercante, you know, my favorite woman, whose surname I love to butcher on purpose, which is pretty hilarious. Her, who works for Kotaku game journalists, Kotaku run by women, run down by women eventually. That's what's going to happen. You get that, ladies? I'm coming for you. So isn't that bizarre? It's the same hit piece and they've used exactly the same script. I'm pretty sure Galloway and Orr might be AI generated men and they're just programmed like the CEO of Melanin Games whose brothers look like a pair of androids and sit there stuffing their faces with KFC saying yes sister we'll do what you say sister. With my mom's work in Harlem every now and then She's Councilwoman Rio Morales. Yeah, we, we don't know care. how it began. Yeah, it, it started, um, echoes of it kind of were found. Sweet Baby is the victim of a giant organizer alike need to pay attention to. Alyssa Mercante is a journalist and senior editor with the gaming website Kotaku. Alyssa, good morning. For a week ago. And you were worried about your parents as well? 
Wait a second, so Alyssa Macante's on this. Sort of leverage against all these... We asked to speak with somebody from Sweet Baby Inc. We didn't hear back, but you did speak with the CEO in your reporting. And as you mentioned, um, you got blowback. Wow, the- a Kotaku journalist who's a third-party spokeswoman. Yes, I'm specifically gendering you, Alyssa Macante. You're speaking on Kim Belair's behalf. So are you two witches just sat at your table going, <laughs> what can we brew today in the cauldron to see what lies we can spread? Because if you watched that Spawn on Me podcast a couple of days ago with Khalif Adams, It's the weirdest thing because you can see that he, with the pink headphones, and her, Makante, are just there, delusional beings, almost like they were beams down from high above. And like, yeah, we're just here to tell you that uh, whatever you're watching right now is absolutely the truth and nothing but. Because mainstream media does a similar kind of thing, but they have to follow rules and guidelines. And while there are rules and so forth on YouTube, you can still circumvent and skim the surface and just spread the false news how you want to. So it's funny that watching Khalif and watching Alyssa, I just sit there very amused because you know what? I'm not wearing my tinfoil hat to conspiracy right now. I've got my badass bandana on and I can just sit here and think you guys are a complete pair of morons. You're weirdos. You're freaks of nature and you can have your platform. You're allowed to have your platform like I have mine right here on YouTube as well. It's a free democracy given to us by the Greeks, and we can say what we want within reason. That's my really sexy, fit, hot English literature teacher, Barbara Houghton, used to say to me, have any opinion you want, Jason, just back it up. And of course, hopefully in today's video, I've kind of done that for you. And it's bizarre that again, Matt Galloway in cahoots with Jonathan Orr, are just recycling the same garbage again, but presenting it as a brand new hit piece. It is so woefully bad that this is meant to be top tier journalism. Woodward and Bernstein? No, it's not even at the caliber of those gentlemen, as wonderfully played by Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford in All the President's Men from 1976, co-starring the great based Jason Robards. But this is ridiculous. Honestly, well, not you, Matt Galloway, and we know you're already a bit of a prissy human being, but Jonathan Orr, (laughs) <laughs> that surname just really kills me. It's, uh, yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. is accused of forcing political agendas. Well, yes, they are. And also, again, the other new kids on the block, Melanin Gamers. I was thinking about it this morning in the bathroom while I was doing my ablutions that they must have taken a look at somebody like uh, Sarah Bond from Xbox. Now, Sarah Bond, the only criticism I have of her. My name is Sarah Bond. My pronouns are she, her. Is that she's a fake reactor. I doubt she's ever played a video game in her life. She claims that she did with her dad when she was a kid. Maybe that's the case, but if you ask Sarah Bond about Gears of War or Baldur's Gate 3 or any of the other hard R titles, do you think she sat down and played them even for a couple of hours? No, because she's more interested in being in the senior position she is with Xbox, getting on the good side of Phil Spencer, as she always does. Phil loves her, she loves him, everybody likes her, except for the fact that, you know what? It seems that Sweet Baby, Black Girl Gamers, Melanin Gamers, the melon heads themselves, are all looking at Sarah Bond and they're thinking, you know what, we want some of that. We are entitled, not forgetting the fact that Ms. Bond has actually worked her way up Microsoft to get to her position. She worked hard. And then I went to T-Mobile and worked there, T-Mobile, the wireless company, uh, which is a great consumer tech company. And after about six years doing a ton of things there, um, which ended in me leading strategy and business development, I decided I want to try something new. And Microsoft seemed like a great option. 
And when the opportunity came to start um, on the gaming team, I was like, well, that works perfectly. That's consumer tech. And it's also something that I've always loved since I was a kid. These guys and girls, they think, you know what? We're going to sit on back here. We're going to have the melanin in our eyes and in our skin do the talking for us. Yet you don't know how to make a video game, do you? Absolutely no freaking clue. Which again, in the 2000s, you had a lot of white people and a mixture of other folks as well who came together, not in that sense, you dirty lot, and started coding video games. Tim Sweeney famously coded video games from his parents' basement, then formed Epic Games. Still in charge of that today, I think he's the CEO, if I'm not mistaken. So please, Canada, just keep your woke politics on your side of the pond. I don't give two rat asses about you try to stick up with Sweet Baby Inc. and other companies like them. They are trying to ruin video gaming and they're failing epically hard. And what's the excuse? We're going to be victims. People are picking on us because of our skin color. No, we're not. We're picking on you because you want to change the race of a character that was originally white. You want to force ideology into your vid into video games that we like. You want to take God of War Ragnarok. You want to change the character of Angra Boda from a redheaded female to a black female, which makes no sense in the game set in Norse mythology, i.e. Caucasian. Oh my God, it gets so ridiculous. I cannot wait for the brand new Witcher game when that comes out as well, because that's going to be a god awful catastrophe. But something that is not god awful or even a catastrophe is yours truly. And I really do hope you enjoyed this video today because by golly, I've been on a rant for the last couple of days. In fact, today, when I woke up for my cleaning job, I just texted my manager at four in the morning and said, I'm ill, I can't come in. And what was his simple response? Okay which is great because I need a bit of time just to refresh myself, recharge the batteries and just get in here and make you guys the video that you damn well deserve. And on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video today, leave a like below, smash that subscribe button, wobble your face in the beautiful cleavage of a Scandinavian woman as long as you've asked her and she says yes and I'll catch you catching me on the next video. And look at this, we're gonna have 20, maybe 30,000 of these made up after the Vegas show. Go ahead, take a look, see what you think of it. I think it's beautiful. Cause I'll never